today I'm making something you guys are really gonna love. It's no bake, it only has four ingredients, and it's chocolate. It's win, win, win. It's a no bake ricotta chocolate cheesecake. Start off by melting 12 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate. If you're doing it over a double boiler, make sure that the bottom of whatever the double boiler is, like a glass bowl or a metal bowl, is not touching the water so that your chocolate doesn't burn. This is two 15 ounce containers of whole milk ricotta that can go directly into a food processor. If you can get fresh, use fresh. It's always better, more delicious. One thing I do want to point out here is oftentimes when we call for a semi-sweet chocolate, we say that you can use chips if you want to. In this instance, I would say don't use chips. They have stabilizers in them which keep them from melting fully, and for this, you want it to melt. I'm gonna turn the heat off now and just let it sit there until it's fully melted. There's just a couple little pieces that haven't melted. While I'm waiting for the final bits to melt, I'm gonna blend up my ricotta. You wanna get it really smooth. Normally I say to pulse things, but in this instance, just turn it on and let it go for like a minute. The chocolate seems nice and smooth, so take it off. Don't let it sit on the hot water too long. You don't want it to burn. Okay. See how smooth that is? It's like cream almost. The melted chocolate goes right in with the ricotta. I mean, how could you go wrong, right? Delicious fresh ricotta, rich, semi-sweet chocolate, all good things. Get it all combined. When your chocolate is smooth, you're gonna combine it with three quarters of a cup of heavy cream that's been lightly whipped. This is almost ready. Just giving it another quick whisk. <laughs> Some of my chocolate flew in there, but that's okay. It's going all in the same place anyway. You don't want it over whipped. It's a nice soft whip, and then you can scrape your ricotta chocolate mixture into the cream and fold everything together. So this has no eggs, nothing. It's not gonna be baked. What's gonna set it really is the combination of the chocolate with the ricotta. The chocolate's gonna harden in the fridge and it'll set. But because it has all that soft cheese and cream in it, it won't be too hard. I highly recommend leaving some behind so that you have a little treat while this is setting. So I'm gonna do that. You don't really wanna leave any streaks in here, so be thorough. I mean, if there's one or two streaks, it's okay. The cream is also giving it a little bit of lightness and the cream also sets a little bit in the refrigerator. So it's the combination of the chocolate and the cream that makes this sliceable once it comes out. Perfect. Now you can just start layering. What I have here is a nine by three inch springform pan that I've sprayed and then I lined the bottom and the sides with parchment paper. And the bottom has a little bit hanging out, so you just remove the side, line the bottom, and then put it back on. This just makes for nice, easy removal. And now this is just like an icebox cake. You use chocolate wafer cookies to line the bottom. And as it sits in the refrigerator, they soften and become your cake layer. Don't worry if they break a little bit because they're gonna soften anyway. So often a few pieces will be broken. Line the bottom, overlapping with about half the box. It's about 22 cookies for the bottom. These cookies are good for lots. You can make pie crusts with them. So scrape about half your filling over your cookies and then spread it out evenly with an offset spatula. And then the remaining cookies, same thing, overlapping circular pattern. And then the remaining chocolate mixture goes on top. Smooth the top and get this into the refrigerator. It needs to set for at least six hours and up to two days. Now it's time to eat. <laughs> Not that I haven't been eating the whole time, licking the bowl. Release the sides, lifts right off, and you can peel the parchment away. Now I'm gonna attempt to take this off and put it onto a platter. Use the biggest spatulas that you have. Slide the spatulas underneath, just lift it up. Oh, I left two cookies behind, that's okay. And then right onto your platter. I love a four ingredient dessert. Shave some chocolate on top. Why? Because it's pretty and it's delicious. Voila. I am having a slice. You can use a warm knife to cut, dip it in warm water, and then wipe off dry, and then clean between each slice. Makes for nicer slices. Layered and beautiful, and just for you. It's for you because it's so easy, we all get to enjoy it.